Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to easily fix iPads stuck in boot loop. Every iPad owner values the smooth and seamless operation of their device. However, at times an iPad might get stuck in what's often referred to as a boot loop, a frustrating scenario where your device continually restarts without fully booting up. This issue is fairly common and can be triggered by several factors, such as a botched jailbreak, an unsuccessful iPad OS upgrade, or even a malicious software attack. So how do you know you're dealing with a boot loop? One telltale sign is if your iPad keeps flashing the Apple logo and turning off, only to restart the process. While it may not be a fatal issue, a boot loop can severely hamper your ability to use your device and may even cause data loss in some instances. If you're facing this challenge, fear not. This video will walk you through practical ways to fix an iPad stuck in a boot loop without losing your precious data. If you find your iPad continually exhibiting the Apple logo and then promptly powering off, you're witnessing the characteristics of a reboot loop. This occurs when there's a software glitch or other system-related issues that obstruct your iPad's standard boot sequence, preventing it from initiating completely. Absolutely, a boot loop, or a reboot loop, can be a severe problem. It obstructs normal access to and use of your iPad, potentially affecting tasks ranging from professional work to personal communications. Therefore, addressing and resolving a boot loop promptly is of high importance. A hard reset is often the first port of call when dealing with a malfunctioning iPad. It's relatively straightforward to perform and can potentially fix the iPad boot loop. Hold down the sleep wake and home button simultaneously. For an iPad without a home button, hold the sleep wake button and a volume button until the power off button appears. Maintain this hold for about 25, 30 seconds. Watch for the Apple logo to appear signifying that the device is restarting. Should your iPad remain in a boot loop, don't despair. Simply repeat the process after an hour or so. This is an effective way to fix an iPad boot loop without a computer. If your iPad is stuck on the Apple logo and a hard reset is not working, restoring your iPad using iTunes is another viable option, although a more advanced solution. However, be aware that this method could result in data loss, as it essentially wipes your iPad clean and restores it to factory settings. Here's how to fix an iPad boot loop with iTunes. Launch iTunes on your computer and connect your iPad. To enter recovery mode, press and hold the power button alongside the home button for 10 seconds. Release the power button while keeping the home button pressed until the connect to iTunes screen appears. For an iPad that lacks a home button, press and promptly release the volume button, which is nearest to the top button. Next, press and quickly let go of the volume button that is the farthest from the top button. Finally, press and maintain your hold on the top button. A pop-up message will notify you that iTunes has detected your device in recovery mode. Click on the Restore iPad button and confirm the action. iTunes will now restore your iPad to the factory settings, ideally resolving the boot loop issue. In certain instances, an iPad may enter a restart loop when its battery is running low or while charging. Should you find yourself in this situation, the following solution may help. Plug your iPad's USB cable for charging into a wall power outlet. The device will restart, and the Apple logo should appear. As soon as the Apple logo pops up, unplug the charger. You should briefly see your home screen. Quickly plug the charger back in, as this screen will flash briefly. The iPad will shut down and should not reboot again. Let your iPad charge undisturbed for at least 30 minutes before attempting to use it again. There are moments when an iPad becomes unresponsive and appears stuck on the Apple logo. This is often a result of software issues that have affected the boot-up process. Luckily, there are ways to unfreeze your iPad. This process forces your iPad to restart without affecting any data. To do this, follow the steps we have detailed above. If a hard reset doesn't work, putting your iPad into recovery mode is another option. We have also mentioned the steps for this in the above section. Remember, if these methods do not work, you may need to seek professional assistance or contact Apple support. A boot loop can be a daunting problem for any iPad owner. However, the fixes outlined in this video, a hard reset, restoring your iPad via iTunes, and addressing low battery or charging related boot loops, are proven methods for rectifying this issue without resorting to a factory reset. The key is patience and persistence. Don't be disheartened if the first solution doesn't solve the problem, just move on to the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.